Hey, welcome to the show and take a look at the size of this division problem. I have 78,456 divided by 123. This problem is requested from one of my subscribers. Uh, I'm sorry if I mispronounced the name. It is Ranita James and this person is in fourth grade. So thank you very much for this request. And I'm going to go ahead and just put your name right over to the side here and make a little rube on the board and make this problem just a little bit smaller. We're going to have a little bit of work to do, but you know, as long as we treat this like a puzzle, um, like a game and just have fun with it. So first of all, I need to find some multiples of 123. And just by doing a little mental math, I'm thinking maybe I could probably fit 123 into 784, maybe five, six or seven times. Let's go ahead and try five right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little figuring off to the side. 123 times five. So five times three would be 15, carry the one, and five times two is 10, plus the one is 11, carry the one, and then five times one is five, and then plus the one is six. I can definitely go more. So let's try 123 times six. So six times three is 18, carry the one, six times two is 12, plus the one is 13, carry the one, and then six, and then seven, and then Let's do one more just to show you what that looks like. So I have 123 times seven. So seven times three is 21, carry the two. Seven and two is 14, 15, 16, and then carry the one and then seven and then eight. As you can see, 861 is too big. We're gonna stay with six. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the six right here. And then I multiply six times 123 right here. Six times 123 is 738. So go ahead and put 738 right here. And I'm going to go ahead and subtract it. So then I need to borrow from the eight right here. So this turns into a seven. This is a 14 now and 14 minus eight is six. So go ahead and put a six right here. And then seven minus three is four. And then I drop the next number down, which is a five. I'm gonna drop that five all the way down right here. So now I have 465. Do I have anything with 465 right here? No, I do not. So let's try 123 times three. So three times three is nine. Three times two is six. And then three times one is three. And just to show you what four looks like, 123 times four. So four times three is 12, and then four times two is eight, plus the one is nine, and then four times one is four. So that is too big. And it's if you haven't taken time to memorize your multiplication, um, I would recommend taking some time, you know, taking a couple months and take one number at a time, but um, it's really important to know your multiplication. So let's go with three. So three times 123 would be 369. So I'm gonna go ahead and put three right here. So three times 123 is 369. So I'll put 369 right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and subtract. So I need to borrow here. So this would be a five. This will turn into a 15. So 15 minus nine equals six. And then five, uh, I can't subtract five minus six. I need to borrow. So I'm gonna borrow one from the four and that turns into a three. And now I have 15 and 15 minus six equals nine. And then I go ahead and drop the next number down, which is that six. I drop it all the way down right here. And this answer, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn into a remainder because if it's gonna be a decimal point, <laughs> I might be here for a little, little while. So do I have anything that will fit into 966? I have 123 times seven, and I wanna show you what 123 times eight is. So let's go ahead and do that. 123 times eight. So eight times three is 24. Carry the two, and then eight times two is 16, 17, 18 carry the one and then eight times one is eight plus the one it would be a nine. So I have 984, which is a little bit too big. We're just gonna stay with the seven. So let me go ahead and put the seven right here. 
So 7 times 123 is 861. So go ahead and put 861 right here. We'll make that a little bit neater. And then I'm going to go ahead and subtract. And I think I'm going to go ahead and shrink this problem. It's starting to get kind of big. So um, if you're doing this on a piece of paper, you might want to have a little room to write with. So the nice thing about a whiteboard is you can kind of move these numbers around a little bit. So let's go ahead and subtract. 6 minus 1 equals 5. So I'm going to go ahead and put the 5 right here. 6 minus 6 equals 0. And then 9 minus 8 equals 1. Now you're like, wow, that's a big number for a remainder. But can I put 123 into 105? No, you cannot. Is there any other number to drop down? There is not. So this would be a remainder of 105. And if you wanted to turn it into a decimal, then um, it would, uh, it, I think it would take a little bit longer. So we're just going to keep it as a remainder. So let me go ahead and put the R right here. Remainder 105. All right. Hey, thanks a lot for watching this show. I sure appreciate it. If you can hit the subscribe button to this channel right here, hit the likey button. And I'm always reading your comments and suggestions. So maybe you'll be the next person I'll put a, uh, I'll do a problem for. All right. Have a good evening. We'll talk to you later. Adios. Goodbye.